Hey folks, some of you might have been wondering what exactly does uh, pass do in my code? Uh, and the answer is it doesn't do much, but it is important. Uh, it turns out that um, if you have a function definition and you don't have any code written for it, you get an error message. So pass is like a placeholder. It says, I'm going to write some code and I'm going to put it here, but until I do, don't, don't tell me I have an error. So let's see how it works. Right now I'm going to go ahead and hit run and we can see that I've got a green line drawn. And I'm going to go ahead and change the one of the x values. Let's make it instead of 50, let's make the uh, x2. Let's make that uh, 150. And then we'll go ahead and run and you'll see the code actually runs. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And there we go. So now we've the line moved. So obviously the code's running. The, pro, uh, the thing is, though, is there's nothing going on. If I click over here, nothing happens, uh, and that's okay. Um, but at least the code is running. Watch what happens if I get rid of pass. And all I have is this function definition, but I've got no actual running code beneath it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, I'm going to change this to 200. And let's see what happens if I run the code. I, I would expect to see that the line moves to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. Three, two, one, click. And sure enough, I get a syntax error. Now look at where the syntax error occurs. It occurs at line 8. And it says expected and indented block. Well, uh, that me message is not that helpful. What it's really telling us is, is that you have a function defined on line 5, and all you have is comments below it. You don't have any actual code. So the way we fix that is we just put in pass. That's all. And hit run, and then it works. Now, um, it turns out that pass can be used in other ways as well. Uh, if you have not yet learned about something called the if Con conditional statement. Uh, uh, we might have something like uh, we might set a variable uh, like today's a great day so let it be true and we might want to test to see whether that variable is true all the time or not. So we might say if great day uh, equal equal true and again when you learn more about ifs you'll learn more about why it's equal equal uh, if great day equal equal true, then do something. Well, the problem is, is if I forget to write what I want it to do, then an error message is going to occur. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And when I do, we get a syntax error. Now, this one's kind of interesting because it tells us there's a problem at line 10. But the truth of the matter is the problem occurred at line 8 because I'm supposed to have the if then do, I'm supposed to have the if statement do something and it's not doing anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and put pass there until I can think of what I want it to do. And then I'll hit run. And then my code runs. And again, if I wanted to change something like make this 250 and hit run, we can see, okay, sure enough, the code's changing and it's running. Um, so pass basically does this. Pass simply does nothing but it lets Python know that you want to do something at some point in the future, so don't give me an error message. That's it. That's all that pass does.